Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture we are going to add the listeners to the list fragment which we have created right now. So you could simply go ahead and go to the food list fragment right over here and what we need to do now is that uh, we need to take care that when some item in the list fragment is clicked it should make changes to the detail fragment. Hence it's important that to the Hence, it's important that the two fragments should be able to communicate with each other. That is basically we mean that two objects should be able to communicate with each other. So we basically want the list fragment to be able to communicate with the detail fragment. So, so this is basically the communication between two objects. And for two objects to communicate in Java, we do that by using an interface. So with interface, we are saying what are the minimum requirements for two objects to communicate with each other. So what we will do is that we will go ahead and create an interface in the menu list fragment. So what we will do here is that we will go right over here and we will create an interface by typing static interface. And let's name this interface as food list listener. And once we have this interface, the next thing which we do is that we pass in the method which is item clicked. So we'll type void item clicked. And to this we are going to pass in the ID. So this basically gives you the ID of the item which has been clicked. And then we'll type in private food listener. So that is going to be food list listener. And let's name this listener as listener. Okay, so once we have this listener set up, the next thing which we need to do is that we need to create an onAttach method over here so that we could basically attach the listener. So we'll type in onAttach. And to this, what we are going to do is that we are going to pass in activity instead of context now. So when we add activity, it's going to say that activity is deprecated, but it's still going to work fine. And here in this method, what you need to do is that you again need to pass an activity here and you basically type in this dot listener equals and typecast it to food list listener and pass an activity over here. So once we are done with this, the next thing which you need to do is that you need to add the on list item click method. So we type on list item clicked. And once you type in on, you are going to get an option. So you could simply hit enter and the entire method is going to appear for you. Now in this, what we basically do is that we check if the listener is equal to null. So we type if the listener, if this is not equal to null, then what we want to do is that we want to type listener dot item clicked and that should be actually equated to the ID. Once this thing is done, we are pretty much good to go. So now the only thing which we need to do is that we need to go ahead and we need to define what happens when the item is clicked. So in the next lecture, what we will do is that we are going to go in the main activity .java class and we are basically going to make that thing implement this particular listener, which we have right over here. So that's it for this lecture and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.